Hi everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Susan and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to shed some light on some of John Piper's lies. I've noticed that every time I make a video, I will always have Calvinists in my comment section telling me I don't understand what Calvinism is all about. So today I actually decided to bring you a Calvinist in action. So let's go. God forbids things he brings about and God commands things that he hinders from happening. Without this category of thought, I don't think you can make sense the God of the Bible. John Piper, you mean the God of Calvinism because the God of the Bible makes it very clear what he wants people to do and what he doesn't want people to do. But let's continue to listen in and I'll weigh in a little bit later. It's a sin to kill the Son of God. It's a sin to mock the Son of God. It's a sin to whip the Son of God with stripes prophesied in the Old Testament. And yet, we all know from Acts chapter 4, verse 27, Truly in this city they were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. It was the will of the Lord to bruise him, and it was full of sin. First of all, I just want to make it clear, just in case this is what John Piper is insinuating, I'm not sure that it is what he's insinuating, and just in case there's someone else listening to this that thinks this is actually what this verse means, the whom you anointed in Acts 4.27 is not referring to Herod or the Jews or anyone else who was involved in the crucifixion of Jesus. The whom you anointed in Acts 4.27 is actually referring to Jesus. Jesus. This verse is not saying that God anointed Herod and the Jews and the rest of them to crucify Jesus. It's talking about how God anointed Jesus to save the world, as was his will from the beginning. Now, going back to what John Piper was saying, that God ordained sin so that Jesus would be crucified, that is an absolute lie. God did not ordain sin. God ordained for Jesus to die to save people from sin. Sin did not come into the world just right before Jesus' crucifixion so that the crucifixion would be possible. Sin had been in the world and that's why Jesus had to come. God did not make these people sinful just to make the crucifixion possible. These people were already sinful. Jesus was not the first one they killed. Jesus talked about how they, how they had been killing prophets before him. Just because God knew that people would do this, just because God has foreknowledge that people would crucify Jesus, doesn't mean that God made them or that he was happy that people actually crucified Jesus. Jesus himself said that the Son of Man, he was talking about himself, that he would go the way scripture prophesied. But woe unto the person through whom this betrayal would come. Because it wasn't God who influenced Judas to betray Jesus. The Bible actually talks about Satan entering Judas. And this is the problem in Calvinism. God and Satan are one and the same person in Calvinism. Just because scripture knew that there would be someone who would actually betray Jesus and sell him for 30 pieces of silver, does not mean that it wasn't sin for this man to do it. Does not mean that God was happy that this man did it. What Calvinists seem to not acknowledge is the fact that just because God knows you're going to sin, does not mean he's going to make you sin. You're still the one who's choosing to do these things. And Calvinists will say, well, yeah, uh, God ordained for Jesus to be crucified. How else would he have been crucified if there wasn't sin? My exact point, without sin, Jesus would have had no reason to come and die because the whole point of Jesus' crucifixion it was to save the world from sin. God did not ordain sin. Sin came from Satan through Adam and Eve into this world. God did not ordain sin in Jesus' crucifixion. God actually brought the cure for sin through Jesus' crucifixion. That being said, God is able to work out even the things that the devil means for evil 
God is able to work those things out for good. Even though the devil meant sin for evil, God was able to work that out during the crucifixion and actually salvation came through that because it was through sinful men that Jesus died and paid for and paid for the sin of the whole world. It doesn't mean that God caused people to do this. It just means that God took advantage of it and used it to bring salvation to the world. Again, just because God knows you're going to sin does not mean he's going to make you do it. God knew about Adam and Eve that they would disobey him. That doesn't mean he made them disobey him. God knew this would happen and that's why he ordained Jesus from the foundations from the very beginning that he would die to save the world from sin because God knew exactly what would happen. In the same way, God knew that the Jews would reject the Messiah. He prophesied about this, not because he was going to make them reject the Messiah, but because he's God. He knows this. He knows exactly what people are going to do. Calvinism makes God look like such a lunatic who will do anything just for the sake of his own glory. It's as if he ordained this crucifixion just for the sake of it. He just wanted to see Jesus spat on. He just wanted to see Jesus rejected. Calvinism makes God sound like, okay, I prophesied this. It's written in stone. I just have to make this happen because I want glory so much. As if... If there weren't any sinful men who because of their sinfulness would actually crucify Jesus, Calvinism makes it sound like God would actually move their hearts to crucify Jesus just because God prophesied and he needs this to happen so badly because he wants glory so badly. God did not ordain the crucifixion just for the sake of it, just for the sake of glory. God ordained the crucifixion to save mankind from sin. If there weren't any sinful men, Jesus would not have died. It's terrible that even though the Bible presents to us God is a loving father who sacrificed his own son to save the world, Calvinism has presented God as this lunatic, this narcissist who would do anything for his own glory and they've taken the love completely out of anything that God does. Here we have John Piper instead of focusing on how Jesus, de Jesus died to save the whole world from sin and whosoever puts their faith in Christ on that death and resurrection of Jesus Christ they will be saved. Instead, he's using that very crucifixion to present to people how God ordained for them to sin. It's terrible. It really is. It's awful to see. And I hate it with all of my heart. And I'm not going to stop. No matter how angry you all get at me, you can call me whatever you want in the comments. I'm not stopping. I will continue to preach the gospel and to speak out against this terrible doctrine that presents God to people as a monster instead of the loving father that he is. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!